often situations in the Islamic world over the past few years, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has seen an increase in media coverage. The whole world is curious and eager to find out why this community doesn't partake in terrorism and why is this community different? And most importantly, how can we establish world peace? Our beloved Khalifa has been at the forefront in spreading this message to the corners of the world. The international media can no longer turn a blind eye to this magnificent service of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, the supreme head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, is approached by many TV and radio channels and the print media when they go out in pursuit of the true message of Islam. For, for those non-Muslim people listening to you, um, who's, who will welcome all your words of peace, I'm sure, and welcome um, you know, all, all that they can learn about the Ahmadiyya community. Um, but they will also want, for example, the right to offend, the right to, for the Charlie Hebdo magazine to do the cartoon it, it did the week after the killings, that they'll want a, a number of things to, to be okay on the streets of Britain and in the magazines of Britain and, and in conversations. What, what do you say to, to those people who fear that your message might be, you can't do this? So somebody wrote that right to offend does not mean to offend is right. But, so, see, we need some harmony and peace in the world. If such actions are welcome or fanned by the media or by any of the society organization, then you cannot establish peace in the world. So every person, every organization, all the media should realize their responsibility and play their role, as I've said. To act peacefully. To, 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 to cool down the people, to give good news to the people instead of inciting them.